comes forward. Remember to regulate your breathing. That means in through the nose, out through the mouth, in a controlled manner. You find yourself breathing too hard or panting too much, slow down. Let, let the fitness follow the movements. Other direction. Opposite directions. Switch. Okay, arms up, shoulder level. Easy on the way back, forward, back, forward. And keep the hands and the elbows in level, just like you would with an elbow, right? used to doing this after about 10 or 20 of them you actually can feel your shoulders start to get a workout which means they're doing it right go a little quicker if you can but don't watch the pinch make sure you don't feel this in your neck okay hands up underneath their chin small twists small turns start with the shoulders move the shoulders Try not to move too much of the hips or the lower back. All right, you're going to swivel a little bit more from the center of your spine. Take a few steps out and reach. I remember what we did on this one as well. Catch the arm, pull. Make sure that this is a purposeful warm up as well. Because every second of your workout counts. And might as well be useful for our practice. Go a little bit deeper. And maybe a little bit deeper if you can. Just walk yourself out a little bit. Mostly because I'm kind of working on this little bit of a stretch in the last two weeks. And I'm just going to one last time, a little lower. Walk yourself up. Hey, uh, left, right knee, straight up, easy, that's it. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You can keep the height the same, but maybe increase the speed. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last one, so get as tall as high as you can with fluidity. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Let's go to the sides. One, lift the knee up. Two, three. You can change the angle of your knee and your foot to make sure that that socket moves where it should. If it's clicking on something or hitting on something, you're not doing yourself any good. It's even okay to go 45 degree out. It's almost like this one, but so adjust it to your angle, not mine. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Shift to the other side. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. See if you get a little more height or release a little more fluidity. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, shake it out for the last round. If you're ever doing these movements and you're in the warm up and your height is getting lower, you should stop because you're not giving yourself what you need to do. Stop at your highest one and you'll keep that one through the training. Okay, here we go. Last round, so it should be our highest round. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other side. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, back swings. So find uh, whatever leg you want. Pull the ball of the foot up so it's the heel. Shift your weight onto the supporting leg. Slightly look. Bend forward and back. Don't twist too much right to left. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. We'll go to the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Go to the other side. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Okay, last round. Hips in a circle, let it loosen up. And again, we're going for fluid, loose motions to the highest as we can go without forcing it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, move around a little bit. Should be pretty warmed up by now. So we'll uh, work with going into a. Make sure you have enough distance behind you to go into a. Uh, Open X. So taking your right leg, foot check, stopping his front kick from coming, set it straight back to a high, a high, high back stance, shift right back in, and guard up. Okay, so from your neutral stance, his boot kick or whatever he's kicking you, stop it, use that momentum to send you right back. Okay, so here we go. Slow and easy, proper technique. And your hands can come up as soon as your leg comes up. One, Back, two, back, three, back, four, back, five, back, six, back, seven, Back, eight, back, nine, back, ten, back, 
go ahead and shift to the other side. One. Back. Two. Back. Three. Back. Four. Back. Five. Back. Peace. Back. Seven. Back. Eight. Back. Nine. Back. Ten. Back. And we're going to go back to the other side. Shift up for your kick. Um, when you come back to the uh, other side, or when we go back to the um, open X, right as this foot hits, I want you to hit. I don't want you to ground here, so I'm saying. I want you to just barely touch, then ground here. So instead of coming back and then grounding and then kicking, which is a lot of work, I want you to go and then ground. Okay, so same speed, but just that concept. Here we go. Foot check. Touch and kick, then ground. So my kicking, my leg that I'm moving back doesn't stop in that open X. It kicks first. Two. Back. Three. Back. Four. Back. Five. Back, six, back, seven, back, eight, back, nine, back, ten. Other side, one, back, two, back, three, back, four, back, five, Back, six, back, seven, back, eight, back, nine, back, ten. Shake it out, grab a foot, pull it back if you can, stretch the front part of your leg out, let the hamstring relax. Go to the other side, do the same thing. Okay, let's go back to um, the other side. And instead of doing a foot check with our toes, this way we'll use the edge of the foot. Okay, so it's kind of like a side heel thrust, but you don't need to do all the, the uh, knee and the hinges and everything, which is kind of a fine thing to do. But what we want to do is check them, not strike them. So we want to stop their forward momentum. So in one case, you're always told never to leave out your, but sometimes it's okay. Just don't leave it out there for uh, a day. Hit. And then we're going to come back and go to the horse stance and then ground ourselves. So before we went back to an open X and ground ourselves, this time, side check, we're back to the horse. Okay, and again, we'll go at the same speed so we can do it right. Okay, so his front kick's coming in. One, side edge of your foot. 
and back. Two. You don't need a lot of pivot like you do on a side kick. Three. You just need to stop his foot from his weight from coming forward. Four. Five. Back. Six. Back. Seven. Back. Eight. Back. Nine. Back. Ten. Back. Reverse other side. One. Back. Two. Back. Three. Back. Four. Back. Five. Back. Six. Back. Seven. Back. Eight. Back. Nine. Back. Ten. Back. And we'll go to the other side and we'll just have a very simple step up side kick, okay? So check is, I keep reminding you this, visualize your opponent. Probably more important than the movement for the next little while. Or they're just dance steps. So here comes his front kick, bang. He's going <clears throat> this way. So midsection moves in. So once I clear, I need to come back in with that side kick. Okay, so same thing, add the step up side kick. Make sure that your foot check that comes out, stiff swinging more or less, has a little swing in it, that you don't keep that mode and swing your side kick up. You need to do this. So there's two different techniques here. Here we go. Um, I'm doing my right leg first. Okay, one. Remember what we did on the open X? The same thing on this one. So when my back leg touches, it then moves forward again. And then when I kick here, I ground here. Just a little bit. One. Back. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven. Six. Back. 
Seven. Eight. Nine. Okay, stretch it down. At least the muscles are tight, if, if any. Bend the knees. Take a second just to run through your muscles, joints, make sure everything is going proper. That you're getting stronger, faster, and more fluid with this type of workout. It's not an endurance workout. Just remember if you can do something slow, fluid, and correct, you'll eventually be able to go fast and hard with it. And you just you can't skip that step, even though we all try. And so if you're doing it slow and you're doing it correct, speech just a matter of time or adrenaline. Okay, back up. So let's move on to um, the same. Foot checks. So we did a open foot check and a closed foot check. So what we're going to do is we're going to do the first foot check um, just to snap the leg. So he's coming here, and then you'll turn it into either a side kick for a supporting knee or a check for him if he if he did did one of those motions because he saw your foot check. So all you have to do is take your right foot, cross over to his right shin, and then turn it out. And we're just going to step out. Hey, you can add the hands to where they feel um, combative for a person being in front of you. So here comes this front kick. Here maybe comes the second one, or maybe he just stops. And again, it's a check. It's not really a side kick. Then I'm moving out. Now I'm grounding myself. At least an inch or two. Okay, that's the move. Easy does it. One. Try to connect the movements a bit. Two. Find out where one ends and the other begins. Three, there and there. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Nine, ten. Okay. Other side. One. Back. Two. Back. Three. Back. Four. Five, back, six, back, seven, back, eight, back, nine, back, Back. Okay, take uh, your right leg and do the first foot check. We're not going to do the dance. The first foot check, the second foot check, and then rotate it back into the first one and then set it down. So it just goes one, two, three, and back. It's not an application per se, because you're doing something wrong if you're letting them kick that many times. It's to get the foot checks better, looser, and faster. Okay, so one, two, three. Here we go. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
Nine. Ten. Other side. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Okay, so this is a loosening up exercise. Go back to the right and we'll add the left. Two foot checks, instep um, knife edge, and then instep with the other one. So foot check, foot check, bang, and back. So it goes one, two, three. Okay, loose and easy for now. Keep it knee high. You're not going for his knee, remember? He's kicking, so you're going a little higher underneath the shin somewhere here. Okay, so here we go. One, two, check. One, two, check. Okay, here is the count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Switch, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, those up in any way you want. You can go foot edge, second one, third one. Um, foot checks take a little looseness in the knee and the hip, um, but there has to be some firmness at the end or they're not foot checks, they're just a foot wobbling in the way. And the best way to get good at that is to relax and then just tense up a bit. Imagine what it would be like when somebody comes in. You're not going to be loose and you just won't do it. You tense up a little bit. So in your own training, if you tense up too much, I'm gonna have problems with you being fluid. But if you just imagine a kick there, that's why I've been trying to get you guys to imagine your opponent, that that tightness in the glute happens automatically. And then just, so don't get carried away, but if you're clenching, meaning that you're tense all the way through, um, you're gonna pay for that with a good workout, but later with slow speed. Okay, so foot check. Um, followed up by an application. Right leg, foot checks his front kick. In my mind, he's right footed, so his foot is coming to my groin. I'm gonna step around that foot and just close off with an elbow. If you've ever been foot checked hard, it looks like something like this. And your head comes right forward as the knee buckles like that. So here we go. Slow, foot check, step around that foot by hooking, and finish with the cutting elbow. Bend back. One. Back. Two. Back. Three. Back. Four. It's starting to look like hung form, isn't it? Back. Five. A little hung motion. Back. Six. Of course, it doesn't look like that if you don't know that. Back. Seven. Back. Yep. Eight. Back. Nine. Foot check. Cutting up. Hold on ten. I think you guys got this. Ten. Hold right here. Okay, so if you put the foot 
His knee should be right about here, which puts his groin right where it should be. And I just want you to hook it on the way out. You've got to leave your opponent at some point. You have to disengage. And if you're going to disengage, you always need to add things that will keep your opponent where you want him to go. Opposed to just getting back, you can disengage lots of different ways to leave a strike in your opponent. That's what we're doing here. The emphasis, the goal is to get away and out of our opponent to safety. But if we're going to go that way, we might as well leave him with something. So, same leg. One, visualize. There's his front. Crossing elbow, cutting elbow. Turn your hip on the elbow, should strike, hook, step through, and then back. Here we go. Two. Back. Three. Back. Four. Back. Five. Back. Six. Back. Seven. Back. Eight. Back. Nine. Back. Ten. Back. So there are um, certain things I do uh, for my training. Um, when I'm learning a technique, say I just learned that. You know, you're not going to feel like, you know, it's always like wearing a suit for the first time. It just doesn't feel like you. Um, I practice it on both sides. And then, if I really like it, and I want to make it my own, I think very hard, when I'm good at, I understand I'm good at both sides. So I'm maybe even really good at both sides. I think, what side do I really, would I really want to apply that on? And what's more likely? Do I want to do, you know, a left-sided motion? Do I want to spend the time, 50% of my time that I practice that motion on the other side, or do I want to take that 50% and practice it and get really good on that side? In most cases, that's my answer. I'll spend more time on that one. And just for me, you'll have to experiment. Turns out that when I do the other side, it usually is already not quite as good, but it, it keeps up by itself. So when you make the, when you're training your advanced motions, you need to think about that. If we're doing, I do all sorts of things in class to keep your guys' brains active. But if it's a movement that, for your body type or for your understanding of the art, you would never use on the left side or right side, unless there's a reason to practice it, like it's making you better at something else, then just practice it on the side that's good. That's what we did there. So now I practiced it. What do we do? 200 of them? Good. So now let's do five of applications. That means just kind of explode through it. I'm going to, I have an imagination. I'm going to kick his leg that way. So that I'm inside and I open the groin up a little bit more. Now if you're good with it, you can experiment with that a little bit. So five of them, loose and easy, go. One. So I like foot checks a lot. Um, let's move to the movement we did on Monday. So we're into a common motion, poises hands, connecting two temple motions, trying to figure out uh, what are our potential. If my hands are here, what can I do? Okay, so it's not a matter what can I do, it's what I need to do. What's open right here? Hey, well we know. We know this is open and this is open. And I got here for some reason, so I must have closed something off. Knowing that not knowing what my opponent's going to do, I can't do a lot about that. I can train hard, and I can see tails, but I can also be wrong. But knowing where he's going to hit is easy. If I'm like this, I'm pretty sure I know where it's coming. Okay? I can just give an opening. So when you do calming the ocean, you're giving an opening. A little less groin motion, 
you turn more sideways. Okay, so you can control a lot of what the opponent is going to do by giving him what he needs. So let's do calming the ocean, and we went from calming the ocean, understanding that the next motion is coming here, and then we went into the poison six. So go back to the cat, and remember our neutral, and then shift, put your hand on the hip, and let's full circles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten. Okay, now let's 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 go. One to the shoulder. Extend the kick out to relax the leg. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Okay, now let's shift to the other cat stance. Since this is a hand motion, a hand block, a hand form, legs are only so so, so we need to work both legs. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, let's. Um, so we, what, what did we do last time? We blocked. What, what was the thing we did after this? How's your guys' memory? 